Here's a really cool thing that you can do with Cursor Composer using prompt files. Prompt files are basically sets of instructions that you can reuse time and time again to save you trying to wrangle with the AI and get the right output. So I have this folder here in createpages.com called prompts. And in there, I have this new tool file. Just quickly gonna make sure that I go in here to features and resync my database so it knows about this file because I only just added it a second ago. And get rid of that. So I have this new tool MD. Now what this does is it breaks down the steps to create a new free tool in my app. So I have one free tool here in the drop down. It's a product comparison tool. It just lets you upload a CSV and it will create combinations for you so that you can use it for programmatic SEO to rank for product one versus product two. Now, if I was gonna hire a developer to do this, I would give them this set of instructions. It's just a list of steps. Create the component here, create the view here, and then it tells you all about like how to create, how to add it to the tools controller so that we can pass the SEO data to the view and how we can add it to the nav dropdown. And it's got an example of a component, both the PHP and the view as well. So it's 389 lines long. And then any developer that uses that will be able to create a new tool. So we're gonna do Command Shift I to open up cursor. And we're gonna put, use the at new tool MD uh, SOP to create an, a new tool in my app. And that will let users preview meta tags, title, description, OG images, etc. for a given URL. And off it goes. It's, so it's explained what it's gonna do, and now it's gonna do it. It's actually implementing it. So it's creating a bunch of files, throwing the code in, don't mind this video is two and a half minutes currently and we've pretty much, it's pretty much written the feature for us. Okay, it's even written a little article by the looks of it there. We'll see what it looks like when we get to it. Adding the root. Look, it's basically created one, two, three, four files and updated three others, which is madness. It's just madness. Okay. Still applying, headers done, except all. We'll swipe back in here. In tools now, in the drop down menu, it's actually added a new item for this meta tag preview. So if we click this, it brings us into a tool. It's got the box, it's got the title, it's got a little mini article. So we'll do, let's do another tool of mine, uh, niche site metrics.com. We'll click preview and it loads it in. <laughs> loads in the title, the URL. Obviously you could style this out to make it look more like Google's results. It's pulled in the image, the OG image. It's also got a list of all the meta tags on this page. So you could basically use it. Like for example, the description is not really apt for this product. It's not just about finding these sites that are monetized by display ads. There's a lot of SEO data and stuff in there as well. So I could probably change this description to match more of this particular title that's in the image. So that was useful for me to see because there are things that I can improve here as well. And that's created that, the video is four minutes long. It took me a minute to preamble it. So three minutes and I have a, a free tool that I could stick on my site. Obviously I might want to tweak the design a little bit more, but I think that is insane. Like the ability to do that in three minutes and affect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight files and I haven't had to write a single line of code. I just have that one SOP. And if I want to make a new tool, I can just go back and create another one. It's genuinely mind blowing just how good Cursor Composer is when you combine it with these prompt files, which is, we should all be creating SOPs anyway. And now they have an extra benefit in that you can just use them with the AI, any LLM you want, but obviously Claude Sonnet is the shit at the minute. And as you can see, it's just built a pretty decent feature for me in less than five minutes. Cheers.